Scorpio. I hope that the new year is treating you well. I hope you're enjoying the new energy of 2018. We have quite a bit of energy flow going on with the numerology and the astrology of this year. There's lots of eclipses coming up. Um, there's also the energy of 1111 because today, as I'm recording, is 111. And then it is 2018, which all added up is 11. So just really good new beginning energy. I just feel like intuition is on the rise and, you know, abundant flow of energy is definitely on its way up. So I'm going to go ahead and do the medicine wheel. It's going to fill the table. So we'll start in the center. That's just the center of you. And then right here's the past and it has to do with your relationships. That will match all the way up here where we go within. So your belief systems and what's going on kind of within you. And then we move forward, which is connected to the stars up there. Manifestation, law of attraction, meditation, that type of thing. And over here is moving forward in the actual, you know, taking action and moving forward in the physical. So, we get started in the center here, and right in the middle is the cradle board. So, it's upside down, but there's no upside down meanings in this deck. Um, it's about the ability to respond, so it has this baby in the center. It doesn't necessarily have to be baby energy, but it can be. So, if you're thinking about babies, just reach out to me, but, um... The cradle board is the meaning of the card, which is the protection of the future. So it's about putting together all of these different, you know, elements of artwork and plants and herbs and wood and everything else that goes together to make this a soft and cuddly place for the next seven generations. So it's about your soul-centered business, perhaps, which, like I said, is 2018 is such a good time for like internet intuitives and stuff. So, you know, coaching and that type of thing is really lucrative right now. So, and that's <laughs> just a side note, but it's just this ability to put everything together in, you know, that's why I got kind of the teacher aspect is just because it's the ability to take all of these materials and make it into something that really helps others. So it could be lots of different things, but down here we've got nurturing also upside down. So, this is connected to water, it's connected to earth, and it's actually considered the blood of the earth because it comes from the ocean at like delta, you know, like where the delta kind of spans out and creates all of these crazy deposits. And so it's a living thing and um, it's very rare as well. So it's this nurturing energy, which I like. I kind of connect that to the teacher. I wonder if some of you have that kind of in your plans. And over here, also upside down, I don't know if I just shuffled these upside down or what, but um, the powwow is where all of the people come together to share their materials, their supplies, their stories, their, you know, their warrior stories, marriage proposals, you know, it's, it's this place to share ideas and to dance, and there's just drum beats going on and food being shared, and all of the nations are there to, you know, trade goods and to just have a really spans I don't even I don't know if it did but it might have been the whole summer <laughs> it's just like connected to these summer months it's very just unified and everybody comes together to dance so we'll see because this is just one of uh, four decks total that we'll use so up here in the med meditation realm up there at the top is the medicine wheel that's what we're doing where you kind of put yourself in the center and go around and do your inner work as far as researching about yourself. And then also just understanding that everything moves forward in its own time. So regardless of where you are on the wheel, you're still always moving forward. So something I like to think about is like a wagon wheel or a car wheel, whatever you want to put it, uh, moves forward. You know, you could be on all different spokes of the wheel. You could be you know, on this spoke over here, and as it rolls, you feel like you're getting tumbled around, and you're in a hamster wheel, and it's just moving out of control, but to, you know, the meaning of this card is, you know, you don't have to be on any place that you don't want to be. You're in control here, so you can just come back to center, and you'll never get ran over. You'll never get swung around into a backflip. Just come back to center, and understand that everything happens for a reason everything that moves forward is for your highest good so just trust that 
you know, you are a child of earth as well. So we have angels, you know, looking down on us and nurturing us and giving us this nurturing energy. Um, so we can just, we can concentrate on going out and <laughs> being with others. And because this is within, um, so within you, I feel like you're thinking about other maybe like social events or invitations, that type of energy. And so we have the retreat in the opposite place. <laughs> so these are perfectly mirrored. This is the opposite of this, where the meaning of this card is the meaning of this place, where it's kind of a hibernation thing, it's connected to the feminine, where this is an action step connected to the masculine. So this one's connected to the moon, this one the sun. Um, so we'll see what that's all about, but it's about cycles and like I said feminine nature kind of this nurturing energy and You know the placement over here where it's kind of a hibernation You're putting yourself in your sacred space and just kind of putting boundaries up and just saying, you know This is my Zen and that's the action step. So maybe rather than going out right now <laughs> Like you're thinking that you need to you need to be doing the nurturing thing. So let's see let me pull the next deck out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I apologize. I've got a little bit of a throat thing going on. Whew, excuse me. All right. So all those flipped out. <laughs> we'll put these in the middle. Um, we've got the swan here. They're very graceful. They are sometimes seen on YouTube as either picking up litter or feeding other animals. Um, it's very much connected to the feminine. They don't have any enemies in the animal kingdom. You know, they're not necessarily prey and they're not exactly, you know, vultures either. So it's just a very neutral energy. They can fly and they can float. So they're very dynamic. They can move wherever they need to and they're also very gracious with their ability to give. And then we have the spider and the spider is all about creation and it's like creation of new ideas because the spider doesn't use other means in order to make his web. Um, he uses all of his own materials and his skill so it all comes from him. He's not utilizing, he's creating. So very good energy there and that's the center. Then we'll go into your past here and see what this nurturing is all about just because it's having to do with your relationships or your past or your ability to trust. So let's see what we have. Okay, so this is self-reflection. This is more of that nurturing thing as far as needing to nurture yourself. Um, the self-reflection having to do with the water bird is he stands on his really long legs and then looks down. Um, and he's right here with the swan as well. So I like that those two are so parallel because... Um, it's just kind of that stick with the flow <laughs> more so than the action so far. But let's see, because it seems like your goals, your introspection, what you've been planning on while you're in this space is the action plan. So let's see what goes on with the action. Alright, so retreat. Okay, so that came out twice. <laughs> With the self-reflection and nurturing, it that's just, that is what time it is. <laughs> that's just the spoke of the wheel that you're on, which is totally, totally fine. Just to do a little bit more of that, you see this prairie dog, um, he's not stuck to the ground like a mouse. Some of the animal kingdom are really stuck without the neck muscles to even look up. So where mice have to jump, this little guy can just look up and say, okay, it's safe or it's not. You know, it's kind of like that Groundhog Day where they go and they're curious. They go and find out what it is that they need and then they act accordingly. Even Either they go in to, you know, stay warm and to hibernate and to do their um, gathering as far as, like, the squirrel will, like, take their seeds and hoard it or they will you know build more tunnels and it's just depending on their season and depending on what they see around them they just act accordingly but you know he just looks up decides nope I'm gonna go back in <laughs> and he goes back in and everyone is fine so 
just don't forget to give yourself that space. That really has been the 2018 message as far as um, water and feminine energy. And up here with the cycles. Perfect. Okay. Love this energy. <clears throat> so these two together. <laughs> perfect. So we have a feminine energy going on here, most definitely. <laughs> um, so maybe being around women, if you are man or woman, you should be just surrounding yourself with other women, women friends who can take you out and understand you on a very deep level and start to talk about things like this, which is what is your joy, right? The hummingbird can fly still, backwards, around, up, through. <laughs> There's no direction that it cannot take. And um, they're always just soaking on flowers, and so they really don't ever have to see a dark day in their life. They're always just sucking all of this sweet stuff out of these beautiful flowers and they have these beautiful colors on them so their whole community is beautiful flowers and so um, there's just so much brightness over here. <laughs> so that's where you just need to find your joy and just see what lights you up in that same way and that's this too, life mana. So dolphins, they're always smiling. They are able to flow in the water again. So lots and lots of water energy here. <clears throat> so just connect to that. Um, and you're a Scorpio. So I'll see what comes up because <laughs> yeah, I know that you're already a water sign. So um, I'm thinking maybe people will be looking to you just out of instinct because you're a water sign. Um, because a lot of people are going to be looking for grounding and for emotional consciousness and seeing as how you guys are very emotionally conscious you guys kind of lead with this really powerful vulnerability that puts you aside from all of the other signs um you guys are very aware where other people are not so oh. so the next one here is transformation okay perfect so we kind of go here with these energies so i'm thinking that the cradle board even the nurturing too they all have this really feminine, very closed down energy, and then moving forward right after the retreat is you shed your skin and you get to go on as a brand new person. So, such good, good energy right there. So, let me put these back. Okay, so next deck. <laughs> and a lot of these energies, the decks are a lot the same. I have Jamie Sams right here, a Native American deck from the Seneca, and then this is David Carson and Jamie Sams, and then I have another one by David Carson, and this one is just by U.S. Games. I'm not sure actually who wrote these ones. The artwork is very nice, but the animals do not coincide always with the card meanings, so bear with me here. <laughs> okay, so perfect. Great start nation right in the beginning. So in the center here, with all of these energies, life, mana, the mystery void, so connectedness to the stars and to all of manifestation and abundance, and then creation. <laughs> Beautiful energy. All of those kind of mean the same thing, where it's, you know, you follow your joy, you do what you're led to do, and good fortune follows, right? So you're always supported. You're never limited. This card is so unlimited. It's very rare with the bright white polar bear here, and he's connected here with this... Um, flow and he's just flowing straight over to this star and he just like has no care in the world he's huge nobody's going to come and abrupt him or uh, disrupt him at all it's grace again so that's on two of the cards so um it's just this ability to just decide hey i'm going to go with the flow here i'm not going to fight or flight i've been seeing that a lot especially with the new year it's, um, everyone's getting analysis paralysis. <laughs> what happens is we get in our own head. We're just like, okay, 2018, I have all these goals. In 365 days, I'm supposed to have them all fulfilled. You know, I want to take action right now. But really, myself included, a lot of the signs have just been pretty much told to not really <laughs> move forward quickly. Um, some of them have, but, you know, being mindful of our emotions make us human, and 
we need to connect to that earth energy and for you guys I feel like the earth energy is going to be very very powerful maybe if you don't have a whole lot of water in your immediate experience like a trip to the beach <laughs> if you could spare or a river or something where you can dip your toes in would be very helpful so again with the medicine wheel interesting so yeah, things are changing. There's change going on. I like the circles and the circles are moving. You've got a lot of birds here. Um, but the creation is up to you. It's your experience that we're talking about here. It's no one else's experience. So <clears throat> I just want you to follow your joy in every tiny, minute, little, minuscule decision that you have throughout the day. Something I like to do is get home from work or school or wherever I am and just say to myself and the universe, like, okay, you have the rest of the day, you know, what would you like to do? And give myself that freedom. So this one is oneness, inner growth, and contemplation. And it's right here with this placement of con contemplation <laughs> with the retreat and retreat twice and then gracious and self-reflection and then all of these nurturing cards where... It's just time to hunker down a little bit and just kind of do a little protection spell <laughs> of whatever you can and perfect. So the south card <clears throat> comes out for you. So this is this whole sector, which I kind of spoke about. Sorry, I'm covering it. <laughs> but um, so it's represented by wolves, actually, not by eagles or hawks, whatever this is supposed to be. Um, it's about personal space, openness, and faith. So it is knowing about when to put up the boundary and when to let people come in and share your space with you and all of your joy because it seems like you've got lots of really joyous colorful energy surrounding you there's just things going as far as the new year and maybe a new business plan maybe you know something's changing you're kind of creating this brand new way of living and there might be a little bit of anxiety around it, but there's no need. Just go with the flow here. There's really the cycles, like I said, and we've got the cycle in the middle of this one as well, where it's just like, just accept that everything changes. You know, if we're staying still, all we do is suffer. So, <clears throat> perfect. Scorpio. <laughs> Trying not to make this light so tricky. Um... So it's about identity, vulnerability, and self-discovery. So like I said, you guys are very in tune. So use that as your superpower, you know? So if you feel good, then do that. If you don't feel good, then do something else. <laughs> it's quite simple. Um, just do whatever it is that feels good in the moment. Like I said, just small decisions. And realize what power you have to change your experience with tiny decisions. You have all of this creation power and this ability to make things happen. Just go into your own sacred space in order to harness it. <clears throat> and then we have the north. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so we had the south show up over here. The north come down here. <laughs> this western energy here and the eastern energy there. So... There's just that cycle of movement. You see how it's just trying to kind of mix up your left brain a little bit. It's just reminding you, you know, don't take anything seriously. This is about releasing burdens, detoxifying, and concentrating on your energy flow. Like I said with the uh, this guy, energy flow, just do this very cloudy, very, you've got bears multiple times, so just that hibernation type feeling and work on your body as far as um, detoxifying and getting all good energies in there with cleansing your space, maybe with some sage, cleansing your diet with some prunes or <laughs> whatever. So you can take it as literally as you'd like, but you're being asked to just come back to your body, come back to your sign, which is water, and then get grounded. And then all of this communication with the stars and this new transformation that's going on is just going to be so much easier and all of the answers will flow so much freely because it is up to you like your decisions are yours to make and so every decision um leads to a new outcome so <clears throat> i'm sorry i'm <laughs> still kind of got this throat thing going on so give me one second
Okay, so now I've got this tiny deck. It's a 2013 Awakening deck, so it came after the end of the Mayan calendar. Um, and it comes from the Amazon. So very cool energy, and it all kind of flows in here with the Native American stuff. And this is also by Ben Carson. Or, I'm sorry. It's not Ben Carson. <laughs> I had a David Carson. Brain fart. Okay, so this right here is a condor. He is a bird, <laughs> but he's not a messenger for the other worlds like some of the other eagles are. He is actually the consumer of death, and it's this really, really cool energy that he wears with pride. You can see that he stands tall in that, and what it is is he kind of made a deal with the creator in Legend that um, he would take on this task, and it would be something that you know, he does for the greater good. And so it's kind of about this cleansing energy where you let go of the bad, gobble it up because, you know, you have your experiences, you have, you know, so many notches on the belts or stone on the necklace or, you know, your memories are these like dead animals in figurative speech that this guy comes and eats up and then, of course, digests, and he helps pick it apart for the smaller animals to eat, you know. So he's helping the food chain in such a huge way. And so he wears that with pride. And so you have that one right here in the center, and I really like that because you've got the mystery here, like the void, the vortex, the <laughs> universal knowledge, unified consciousness, 5D, whatever you'd like to call it. This really graceful way of moving about this transition. You've got lots of wings and then you've got lots of water. So you're just so dynamic. And that ability to flow and the ability to move graciously is going to help you a lot. So just connect to water and just know that things come and go and it's fine. Um, wear all of your trans transitions or transformations with pride. So I want to go down to the south here. We have the medicine wheel um, right next to self-reflection with that blue heron that looks down at the water and then nurturing. So we'll put this over here to my left, over here in the south. So, all right, another snake. Very cool. So this one has to do much more about seeing the light. <laughs> He's really cool. Um, this thing jutting up from the top of his head like his crown chakra moving up is actually used to hold a jewel and he was able to move through all sorts of different rocks inside of the crystal cave and the humans were not able to reach it so um so the humans went and tried to harness it and they tried to take his staff here from his crown chakra and what happened was the jewel exploded and little bits of the jewel went inside everything you can see that on his scales he has a little bit of it so this is reminding you that there is that colorful beautiful amazing joy in everything um, creative follow the light and you know it leads to beautiful beautiful gains in our life in material form when we follow our joy. It's saying that this energy right here, all of the flowers are everywhere, just look up and find it. <laughs> and change is beautiful, it really is. And so anything and everything that happens to us that leads to a change is helping us in such a tremendous way, right? So these energies right here are not at all bad omens. Like <laughs> These are just such good, good energies about taking up our past experiences and turning that into compost and then using it to grow our garden. And that's just, you know, you don't have to watch the leaves fall and then watch them turn to dirt <laughs> and sit on your back porch for five seasons and never move and then waste away. That's not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to create the garden and enjoy our ride, enjoy the time, find whatever life manna, whatever jewel that's exploded to all other areas of life just find out what that is that makes you feel like dancing <laughs> and 
and find it. And if that stresses you out, just go back, right back in the hole. That's okay. It's totally fine to just retreat. And that's what it's asking you to do in immediate action. Retreat, concentrate on your own transformation, detoxify, and concentrate on energy flowing through you. Okay, so the next one here is kind of like God's all-seeing eye. It's a black sun, actually, so it's almost like a black hole. So it has to do with the uh, vortex and moving through things through the astrological side, like astral projection, um, secret worlds, moving forward with no doubts, inner truth, creation, memories, simplicity, and spirituality. So I love that. I really do. I just feel like it goes so well with this card right here. Kind of that same energy twice. Just that the whole idea of manifesta manifestation and law of attraction, it just goes so well. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move forward into your um, the mindfulness part, right? And this is what it wants you to concentrate on with your mind, which is know that everything changes and it's okay and that everything is circles is circle of life you know we consume the dead to give more fruit so the joy is finding all sorts of different colors in all sorts of different areas of your life just start saying thank you in a really big way when people say okay have a good day think about how like powerful that is they're like I really hope you have a really good time throughout your experience on this day on planet earth <laughs> And when people say it, you know, it's it's kind of like walking in the grocery store and be like, how you doing? And then they, you know, answer back with, how are you? Instead of saying, you are good and <laughs> what is going good with you, you will just say, okay, thank you. So um, this one wanted to pop out. This is a woman in her cycle. <laughs> She's a goddess, a healer. And she talks about cycles, and you've got the moons here twice, and these came out right next to each other. So that feminine space where um, the women would go to cycle together, <laughs> and all of the men would deliver them their food and their craft supplies, and they sat in this closed teepee and just healed each other and made connected all these dots and connected to the spiritual world and kind of got down with this creation energy where they said what do we want to create right now what's best for the tribe for us to come out of this experience with and every month for one week out of the month all of this magic would happen and then they come out of the lodge feeling like they're a brand new person like they've just shed this skin and now you know they walk out a brand new person because they released so much and then right here we have detoxification so I mean, it's not a gross thing to think about. It's just that cycle and pushing that energy and just like understanding just like that cycle inside of women. It's the same with the condor. We get rid of what the body does not want and replenish it with what it does want in that moment. And it's just a momentary change. So let me read her meaning. These ones are just really short meanings, so I like to go through them. Um, it's about the divine feminine phases of life. Calendars and holidays. There's a time to plant and a time to harvest. So bring moon cycles into your routine and just enjoy the ride. So very cool as far as enjoying the seasons. I really, really like that in the garden analogy where, you know, your past experiences do not define you. They just make you stronger. So let me pull one more here. Okay, so Scorpio... Okay, um, so we have sacred space. Perfect. So this is like an inner temple. We've got more circles and the sacred geometry. So it's this retreat um, going within yourself. That's the overall message for you and really finding out, you know, what this colorful joy is for you. What lights you up the most? What's and, you know, it's it's not about an action plan. It's not about going quickly. It's not about um, even working on your relationships. It's about you. <laughs> um, so release anything that's no longer serving you. Just be ready to cycle through a transition. And just know that everything is working out in your favor. Don't be afraid of the change. 
you know, you're connected to water already, so you have a leg up from the rest of us because, you know, 2018 has a lot of energy flowing through it. So just be prepared for this feeling right here. And if it gets to be too much, go to this feeling here. So I hope this helps, Scorpio. I hope to see you guys next month for February. Um, I'll let you know 